Hello, welcome to Land Race Farm LGD Rescue. Livestock Guardian Dog. And I'm here with Roy. As everybody's going nuts. Roy here, he's a Armenian Gamper. Papered. Oh, the ram is hanging out with Roy. Mr. Roy has experience. He just didn't like his last position. And he got fired. Uh, I'm not sure what really happened there. It just wasn't a good match, apparently. Uh, Roy here, he's amazing. He's good with all the animals. He's, uh, he just takes care of things, you know? He's an, actually a papered gamper. Who needs some coat work done. But hey, I got my rake with me. Come here, Roy. Oh, yeah, good boy. See, he's really good. He's not the most human trusting dog, but he's not going to bite. Oh, it's okay. He's a bit nervous. He was a scaredy dog. Something happened with him at some point. So he's a bit uh, wary, wary of humans. I don't blame him. That's why we get along, because I am too. I don't know what the... What happened to him? How we got this way? I can't tell you. All I can tell you is going forward. I know he's an outstanding dog. Right now he has a little bit of confidence issue, which I'm working through. And him and I are doing really good with this. Yeah, but he's a, he's a sweetheart. Just an absolute sweetheart. Hi. Look at that face. Look at that face. Yeah. And he's been doing fantastic here. When he's been here, he's been just incredible. Look at that. Him and I are bonded pretty good. Again. He's a dog. He just wants to eat up the love, huh? See? It's okay, buddy. That's part of me getting him used to everything, right? He's a bit scared of the coat work. And so I'm not going to push it on him. I'm just going to, we're going to do it slow. Him and I are going to go slow at it. And that's the whole thing with Roy. It's just that bond. He likes the human contact as well. Even though he's a bit wary of it. don't get along though. Nope. Him and Coda have been fighting. So we're not going to do that. Hi Coda, it's okay. And Coda's limping because of all him and Roy.
but they're not like get at each other enemy type of thing. Coda just keeps trying them. And Roy, not really having it. If a dog tries him, he's gonna usually come up on top. He's a pretty, overall, pretty mellow dog. He does not bark much. Don't want to let him go. Not right now. Well, because we got, I got Coda out here. He's good on boundaries, but not quite here. He's hopped the fences before. He doesn't really go anywhere. He just kind of watches the place from a distance. Uh, when there was nobody living around, that was fine. Now there's lots of activity around, and he can't be doing that. Yeah. What do you think, big guy? He's not too impressed. He's not too impressed. It's okay, buddy. Yeah. He's just a doll. Mr. Well adjusted. Yes, he is. He knows that they're not a threat. Who knows? What do you think? Hmm? What do you think? Yeah? Isn't he a doll? Isn't he a doll? Yeah. Yeah. He's just a sweet dog. 
He's not going to be chasing your animals. He's not going to be trying your fencing. He's just good. He's not going to make a lot of noise. He's not going to bite anybody. Well, maybe unless there's a threat. But a real threat, not a perceived, just a perceived threat. I like to see his confidence gaining here. I've actually had some of his family here. I've had uh, his sister, a personal dog named Cujo. traffic <clears throat> he's about as good as it gets very well adjusted adult who's not old who does a really good job I think part of what his problem was he was just left with the animals alone he wants his people. Like I said, he's a sweetheart. He's a doll. Once he warms up and bonds to somebody, he wants to be around them a little bit. Oops, look good. All right, everybody. Well, thanks for watching, Roy. <clears throat> And please like and subscribe and help out wherever you can, however you can. And thank you. It all really helps. Even the $10, $20, it all helps. $100 helps. And thank you for your support. I couldn't do this without everybody's help. And thank you. All right, enjoy your day.